Alright guys, and welcome back to another video. This time, we are on a new update. We're on the second half of the arm shipment. And I've gotta say, this one is probably one of the coolest updates in a long time. Like, I thought the first half was really cool. But then they added in five new weapons. And here are four of the five. There is the... There is the, uh... I forgot how to say this thing. The Fusilat, Fusilat, the Agavir, uh, Echo, and the Night Raider. And then the fifth weapon is probably my favorite. Uh, well, yeah. It is the Hell's Fury. It's the new minigun that was added, and I gotta say, this thing is probably one of the most powerful weapons I've ever seen in this game. And it also has a great animation to it. But yeah, uh, I'll show you what these weapons can do. And yeah. Um, the new guns are all ranger weapons. Except for that one is a Heiko. Uh, but yeah. These guns are actually really great. I like them a lot. This one is the Fusilot. It's the uh, based off the FAMAS which is a French rifle, which is why it has the French name for it. And yeah, I think it's actually pretty good. Ignore my terrible shooting. But yeah, it has pretty good accuracy. It goes in burst and semi-mode, so... You know. It actually is pretty accurate without any attachments. Why do you look at that? It's raining. Well. That's perfect timing. And uh, a few of you people may recognize this place from one of my older videos. This is my tank garage. Okay. And up next is the Augevere. I also really like this weapon. The scope it comes with is, in my opinion, pretty terrible. I don't like it. Well, yeah. There we go. It's kind of hard to get shots off with a bullet drop and all now, but uh, you know, whatever. It's still pretty easy. Like, I think that's out of range. More than likely. Anyway, this gun's pretty good. It goes in auto, semi, and safety, obviously. It's not a very fast firing weapon. Uh, it has a nice green texture to it, sort of an olive drab color, to match more camouflages, and I think probably the Russian military gear, which is really nice, because you know how the uh, American weapons match the American military gear. Okay, up next is the Night Raider, and then this gun. I actually really like this gun, and the Fusilot. Uh, this gun is semi-auto and safety, like most guns. Well, safety like most guns. It shoots very fast, and like the other two guns can take all attachments. Um, takes ranger attachments because it's a ranger weapon. The, it's actually pretty accurate, as it is, without any attachments on it. Uh, I think it's a pretty good weapon, and it'll probably become a new favorite assault rifle to a lot of people. Okay. Up next, I'm going to show you guys the Echo. Which, let me get to it first. Oh yeah, also, I think I'm just going to be using this thing as a, a recording place for most of my videos. Because I figured I built it for a tank video that was recorded for an update. Might as well record this thing for an update too. Alright. Time to try out the Echo. This is actually... This is one of my friend's new favorite sniper rifles. The update only came out a little while ago. Yeah, it obviously cannot take a barrel attachment because of the round it shoots. Uh, you can put a tactical 
a grip, and a sight on it, and it's chambered in Echo magazines. The other weapons are chambered in Ranger, drums are mags, so they're actually pretty handy. And I'm pretty sure that would even out the amount of Ranger 2 military weapons there are. Except for the last one that I have. This is a extremely accurate sniper rifle. And it has a really distinct sound to it. Oh. It's a I like it a lot. I think it's probably I really like bolt action snipers. Oh! Okay, I hate these cloakers. There we go. Alright, and up next is the weapon that everyone has been waiting for. The Fury. This thing is probably my new favorite weapon. Just in general. I think it's also everyone else's new favorite weapon. Um few things to note about this. It's chambered in low-cal ranger. It only has one attachment spot, which is for tactical attachments. Uh, so, yeah, you can actually put an adaptive chambering on it and increase the fire rate by one. Which may not seem like a lot, but trust me, it makes a difference. And uh, this thing is very special for a number of reasons. One of which is that you only have to... you can only shoot it when same in. It does damage the structures and armored vehicles, so I call this thing the tank destroyer because, well, if you put a tank against this it won't stand a chance because, well. Let's show you. So, here's it without any attachments. So yeah, if you're driving a tank or an APC, um, you might want to get out if you see someone with one of these. The fire rate is actually pretty immense. Here, let me show you what the bullet spread is like on one of these buildings. This won't be fine. So I'm just going to gradually take a few steps back as I shoot. As you can tell, we had a few volunteers to help show how much damage this thing does. But yeah, the bullet spread, even though it does go out pretty far with uh, the amount of spread it has, oh, they're disappearing, uh, it's actually countered because of how, well, how fast it shoots and how many bullets it can shoot at once. So, yeah, uh, in my opinion, it's probably, like, one of the best weapons. And what I think I'm going to try to do... Well, I have another video in mind to do with this. Ah! That was not the time. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think I'm dead. Yep, I have no ammo. Okay. Okay, I lived. But yeah, altogether, I really like these new weapons. There was a few other minor tweaks and stuff, like uh, this week he changed the horde beacon up a bit again, but this time for the better. Uh, he changed it so that horde beacons drop a according amount of loot to the amount of people that were actually doing the horde beacon, so it's not just a set number of items for everyone now. It depends on the amount of people you have. Which I think is much better because me and my group tend to do horde weekends and did not have enough gear. So, yeah. Uh, I think that's the end of this video. All these weapons, I think, are probably some of the best I've seen so far. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, see you in the next one.